All right, so I figured I would just share a life experiences moment today. Pull something out of here. I could see what I was doing exactly a year ago too. So this is called the Bucket of Awesome. It was something I started before I started daily journaling. I actually started it in, in or 13, was it 13? No, it was 13. So I started by writing little index cards on these moments. I think I've made like three videos about this. When I got into YouTube really, really early, I was always looking at math things because I took calculus in high school. And I actually came across Vihart's channel. She took such an interesting twist on math and it really changed the way I looked at math and calculus and it actually helped me understand how cool math is, learning about the Fibonacci sequence and hexaflexagons and everything that Vihart has shared, whether it be taste in music, math musicians are a really interesting combination. One of the things I've noticed, and maybe this is superstition just like anything else, is that I always notice specific numbers. The first number that I notice all the time is 137 and I don't know why, um, 7 plus 4, 47, it's 3, 4, and 7 for me. Those are the three numbers that I see all the time. My locker number in high school is 137, and I've seen it everywhere. I see it in gas mileage, I see it. It's probably because I'm looking for it. There's that old self-fulfilling self prophecy thing where you look for the numbers and then you see them everywhere, but it just so happens that they turn off. This is crazy. When I went to VidCon and I was on one of the convention center floors, I was walking out, actually, it was my badge. When I got my VidCon badge, walking back from registration, I looked down on the floor and there was a piece of yellow tape. This is the only time I looked down on the floor of the entire conference, even though I could see the floor as I was walking. It said 137 on it. 7 plus 4 is 11, and that was the year of the big bass attack year in my life at Lake Marge, which is amazing. Do you have a lucky number? Do you have like a number that you see all the time everywhere that doesn't seem to be rare? It just occurs everywhere. It could be superstitious and it could be tied to you looking for that evidence, but I think there's something to do with it. I mean, everybody has a pair that they see all the time. I wonder why. I wonder what the significance of that is. Just pondering. Just a nice quick question about numbers. That's all. That's all I, I'm thinking about. I do have to, it's 935. I do have to journal and I'm going to try to get up at 5 a.m. I know that sounds crazy, but in the past few days, I've been waking up earlier and earlier, and I'm getting there. And if I'm in bed by 10, that's 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's seven hours of sleep. More numbers. It's been working. I've been feeling more awake earlier. And that way, when I wake up, I'll probably feel exhausted at the end of the day, but I can wake up and check email. I can exercise. I can have a good breakfast. I can just not feel rushed. You know, half an hour and a little more than that is not enough time in the morning to to get ready well. It also provides me valuable editing time as well in the morning if I wanna wake up and, and edit for an hour and a half on these or something else. That gives me a lot of time. Now I'm getting into another subject. So keep being you, don't forget to be awesome. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Everybody of Hulka, this is Catch Me Up. I don't have footage for it today. Maybe I'll make tomorrow a Snapchat cooking vlog. Maybe, I got some Snapchat footage for cooking. Chicken. Everybody of Hulka. <laughs>